has been really hard on our evergreens, pine trees throughout the state, primarily due because of the drought last summer and that continued drought this winter. We haven't had a lot of precip, a lot of snow, and so our evergreens are really taking a hit behind because of this. So what we're seeing a lot with our evergreens is a lot of winter injury. And this injury, typically we see it on the north side of the trees where it's getting a lot more wind because that's where the needles are losing most of their moisture. And so the symptoms that we see with winter desiccation or winter injury with pines is a lot of times the needles are going to start turning brown and they'll turn brown from the tip and then work their way back down. And the trick is a lot of times we'll see it at the top of the tree, but this year we're kind of seeing it throughout the tree, um, primarily just to the fact if there's anything that's inhibiting water movement that could be really um, preventing those needles from getting that precipitation um, that is available in the soil. So the big thing we need to start looking for is seeing those needles if they're browning from the tip and working their way back. The other big thing that we're seeing is our cedar trees. Those cedar belts, um, eastern red cedars are turning yellow and brown and a lot of this has to do with the drought situation also. You may see in a cedar tree belt one tree that's dying and the other 20 are fine. Why is that? A lot of that has to do with the root system of the tree that we can't always see. There's something inhibiting those roots. They're not able to get the water necessity that they need. And plus it's so dry, they're competing with each other. So we're seeing those declines. So what can we do with our trees this year? The big trick is it is still dry. We need to make sure we water our evergreens in our landscapes whenever above freezing to help them through the winter months. And especially when we go into the spring and summer, and we continue to be dry, you need to continue giving them supplemental water. Now the next question is, when do we start pruning? I personally would hold off on pruning for a little bit. Wait and see how the summer goes, how the spring goes. You may get some recovery and you may not. Um, you may also want to start considering replacing some of those trees this year because of the amount of injury that we've seen. So just keep that in mind as we're looking at evergreens in our landscape and the impacts of the drought in this dry winter that we've been seeing this last year.